As it said, the Cold War European tank Leopard 2 is unquestionably the most important tank ever built. It serves with the American Abrams as the backbone of NATO armored forces until this day. But it is not the one that's seeking people people's interest, it's the new version of it. Leopard 2A7 According to a journalist, the Leopard 2A7V is a new type of German Army's primary battle tank that boasts a slew of enhancements over the previous Leopard. This is just not it. Let's dig deep into its features and history. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so that you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Alpha Tanks, where we tell you about the new military tanks that are the deadliest in all ways. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of their information. Let's start with its features. Developed from the Leopard 2A6, the Leopard 2A7 is an updated version of the main combat tank. Some of the most notable improvements to the Leopard 2 tank include new armor, an energy system, a crew compartment cooling system, and a new weapon engagement system, among other enhancements. The Leopard 2A7 is fundamentally different from the KMW variant 2A7+, and it is not designed for combat in urban environments as the KMW model is. The Leopard 2A7 Plus main combat tank is distinguished by its design and attributes. For greater sustainability, the Leopard 2A7 Plus battle tank is based on the Leopard 2 main battle tank, MBT, and incorporates digital technologies as well as a multi-purpose user concept. The Leopard 2A7 Plus is equipped with a cooling system that is installed in both the turret and the chassis. The tank's modular design enables for high-intensity operations in urban locations due to its modular construction. The battle tank is around 10.97 meters in length, up to 4 meters in width, and 2.64 meters in height at the turret roof. The vehicle has a weight of 67,500 kilograms and can be commanded by a crew of four people at the same time. The exterior of the vehicle is equipped with a communication interface which allows interaction between dismounted soldiers to take place. The Leopard battle tank has been modernized to include improved protection, a high-performance power system, updated nuclear, biological, and chemical NBC and air conditioning systems, as well as C4I technologies. With the FLW-200 Modular Remote-Controlled Light Weapon Station, the Leopard 2A7 Plus main battle tank can perform active self-defense against a wide range of targets. The weapon system is equipped with optoelectronic equipment and has the ability to detect vehicles automatically. With an elevation aiming angle of minus 15 degrees to 70 degrees, it has a wide range of possibilities. MBT's primary weapon is a 120mm L55-L54 smoothbore gun that can fire both conventional NATO ammunition and innovative programmable 120mm high-explosive rounds. The tank can be outfitted with a 7.62mm machine gun, 40mm grenade launchers, or a .50 machine gun, depending on the configuration. Smoke grenade launchers can be installed on either side of the armament station in order to disguise the tank from enemy sight. The Leopard 2A7 Plus main battle tank is fitted with a modular protection system, which includes passive armor modules to provide 360-degree protection to the crew against anti-tank missiles, mines, improvised explosive devices IEDs, and rocket-propelled grenade RPG fire, among other threats. The tank is equipped with a mine plow, a mine roller, or a dozer blade, which are used to clear mines and other obstructions. Leopard 2A7 Plus MBT's commander station now includes a new Perry RTWL stabilized glass optical periscope, which can be used for day and night reconnaissance over extended distances. Attica thermal imaging device of third generation, a daylight CCD camera with image fusion, fiber optical gyros, and eye-safe laser rangefinder are all included in the periscope's design. 
It is equipped with an Eames 15 stabilized primary sight as well as a Faro Z18 secondary sighting telescope for the gunner station. The driver is equipped with a night vision system that includes a thermal imager and an image intensifier for both the front and rear views. Its Leopard 2A7 Plus MBT is propelled by an MTU MB873 diesel engine that produces 1,500 horsepower. In addition, the tank can be equipped with extra power generators with enhanced power ratings for use in conducting checkpoint operations. It has a top speed of 72 km per hour and a range of 450 km on a single charge. Now let's come to its history and current era. December 2014 marked the first time that the tanks were handed over to the German Army. 14 tanks were built for Tank Battalion 203, with four more going to the Armored Corps Training Center and one vehicle going to the Technical School for Land Systems and School for Technology in the Army. A total of 14 vehicles were built. In May 2017, Germany and the company Krauss Mefe Wegmann inked a contract to upgrade the 20 existing Leopard 2A7s to the Leopard 2A7 V type, which was formerly known as the Leopard 2A7. The Norwegian Ministry of Defense has announced that two Leopard 2A7 NO main battle tanks, a Norwegian improved version of the Leopard 2A7 main battle tank, have been sent to Norway to conduct trial tests as part of a program to procure a new fleet of tanks. The pictures and video were posted on Twitter on January 10, 2022. A prototype of the 2A7 Plus MBT, which was shown during the Eurosatory 2010 Military Expo in France, has been tested and qualified by the German Army. The MBT was sent to Afghanistan by Canada under the leadership of the NATO military mission. In July 2011, the Federal Security Council of Germany authorized a contract with Saudi Arabia to sell up to 200 combat tanks to the Middle Eastern country. In 2013, Qatar made an order with KMW for a total of 62 tanks. It was in 2015 that the Qatar Armed Forces received their first shipment of tanks. KMW got an order from the Hungarian Defense Forces in December 2018 for the delivery of 44 Leopard 2A7 Plus tanks, with deliveries anticipated between 2021 and 2025, according to the company's website. For the main battle tank, Rheinmetall was contracted to produce the main armament and fire control systems. Denmark will acquire 44 2A7 MBTs by 2022, and Germany will receive 104 improved 2A7 MBTs by 2023 according to the Defense Ministry. There are also a number of variants available. Leopard 2A7Q is a version of the Leopard that was supplied to Qatar. This tank has a number of differences from the German Leopard 2A7 tanks, which are not present on the former. Among its features are an additional hull armor kit, top attack protection, a variety of remotely controlled weapon stations, an upgraded auxiliary power unit, and a camouflage system. Compared to the earlier Leopard 2 series tank, the Leopard 2A7V is an improved and upgraded variant that meets the 2A7 specification. The German Army placed an order for 205 of these tanks between 2017 and 2019. To meet the 2A7V standard, an additional 68 Leopard 2A4 tanks, as well as 67 Leopard 2A6, 50 Leopard 2A6 M2 tanks and 20 Leopard 2A7 tanks will be updated. In 2018, the first prototype was handed to the customer for testing and evaluation. It is anticipated that deliveries to the German Army will begin in 2019 and will be finished in 2020. Leopard 2A7A1 is an updated variant of the Leopard 2A7, which is equipped with the Trophy Active Defense System. Germany has secured a contract to purchase Israeli trophy tank protection systems for their tanks, which will be delivered in 2021. The NATO Very High Readiness Joint Task Force, on the other hand, will be armed with only a company of 17 Leopard 2A7V armored vehicles. Raphael, on the other hand, anticipates the acquisition of further trophy systems for Germany. Approximately 60 
Leopard 2A7 Plus battle tanks equipped with L-55 smoothbore cannons and 120mm ammunition were purchased by Rheinmetall Group in June 2013, under a contract issued to the company. Also agreed upon was that the corporation would provide the medium-caliber weapon station with fire control electronics as well as electro-optical sensors. Moreover, a contract for optical and optronic equipment for the Leopard 2A7 Plus battle tank was signed by Cassidian Optronics, a subsidiary of Airbus Defense and Space, in March 2014 with Kraus Maffei Wegman, a German defense contractor. In December 2017, Saab delivered Barracuda Mobile Camouflage Systems MCS, to the German Army to equip new Leopard 2A7V main battle tanks MBTs. The Leopard 2A7V is the most recent version of the Leopard 2A7 tank. It is a medium-sized tank. That's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the following video.